Favorite 11 time with Paras Kodka. You ready to rock and roll? Yeah. This is Taylor made for you. This is a Nepal player. Your favorite type of Momo? Would be steamed Momos. Steamed Momos. Steamed and what filling? Chicken. Chicken. chicken steamed chicken Momos. Okay. Yeah. And how many would you typically have in a, in a standard sitting? I, I could maybe smash around 20, 25, but then normally it would be around between 13 to 15 is, would be my normal setting. Just a cool dozen minimum. I like it. Yeah. Your favorite roommate on any cricket tour? I had no option because Basant Regmi was my room, room partner for so many years. Uh, all, because we had 14 players, only when uh, there was a squad of 15 where you had twin room sitting system. So the captain would probably get a single room then. But as long as there were 14 member squads, uh, it would mean that Basant would be my room partner and he was my cricket uh, room partner for a very long time. Your favorite city or country that you've toured? London. I, I absolutely love London. Your favorite cricket ground experience that you've had as a player, and that includes the quality of the pitches, the quality of the training facilities, the quality of the meals, the teas, the lunches, the dinners, the scenery, everything that goes into a cricket ground experience. What is your favorite place to have played cricket any ground anywhere in the world? It's, it's, it has to be home of cricket, Lords. The whole environment, the whole idea. I mean, because you put in so many clauses with the facilities, the grounds, the indoor, outdoor, whatever, the amenities to it. Uh, playing at Kirtipur Cricket Ground is probably the best feeling. Why? Because there's no other feeling that you get when you represented Nepal at the Trivon University ground with the jam-packed stadium. But with everything with what a cricketing environment should be, just, just sitting in the Lord's balcony and enjoying that whole environment has to be number one. Your favorite cricketer of all time? I don't have uh, a favorite cricketer. Why? Because there have been so many cricketers. My favorite sports person is Steven Gerrard. That's it. Well, well that was going to be my next question. You filled up the answer to my next question. Your favorite non-cricket athlete, Steven Gerrard. Uh, Steven Gerrard. Why, why Steven Gerrard? I like because for the very fact that he's somebody who stayed with one club, he could have gone anywhere in the world. You see, he stuck to his, you know, metal. He was somebody who was very hardworking, somebody who was very honest uh, from from what we saw from outside, and who had this passion for his team, and that made me resonate with myself with the fact that I had to learn uh, those kind of uh, skills where. I had to manage myself. If I could become somebody like him growing up, watching him on TV and just the things that people spoke about him, those are the qualities that I tried to, you know, uh, implicate upon myself. And he's probably my number one uh, sporting athlete icon. Your favorite place to eat out on a cricket tour, and that could be a specific spot in another city, or a particular city, or it could be a chain restaurant when you're on the road. You like to go to a specific chain when you're going from country to country that you can count on your favorite place outside of Nepal that you eat out on the road? As long as you get, because we get Nepalese food anywhere and everywhere, right? So the first thing you do is pop, who is a Nepali here, talk to that person, get the food delivered, done. That's it. Are you a Coke or a Pepsi guy? I'm more of a Coke. I'm more of a Coke guy. I, I, I actually don't drink soda as much, but the thing is, uh, if I had to choose between Coke and Pepsi, I'd definitely choose Coca-Cola. You made the right choice. You picked the real thing. You can't beat the real thing, Paris. <laughs> your, <laughs> your favorite pizza topping? Has to be, uh, I think, the cheese and mushroom and a bit of bacon on top would be nice. Your favorite movie of all time? There's a lot of movies. I can't name one because there's so many great movies over the years. I, this, this would be hard because there's, there, there, there are too many movies that I like. Well, let me put it a different way. What's a movie that when it comes across the screen on TV, if, if you're in the middle of it, you, you keep it on until the end. Once you see it on, you just keep watching. You won't, you won't turn it off, even if it's midway through or close to the end. I think you'd probably watch the, the Namibia Division 2. The current Casey episode would probably be the best movie. You, you keep watching that forever. Very creative answer. I'll take it.
Finally, your favorite show to binge watch. Now that you're retired, you got a bit more time on your hands. So your favorite show to binge watch, whether it's during the pandemic or on tours, you've got some time on your hands on Netflix, Amazon Prime, or just a DVD box set. What do you use to pass the time that's your favorite show to binge watch? Because last couple of years, uh, because of the pandemic, we had so much time, right? So Netflix and all this, I got to watch a lot of series. The series that I'm watching right now, and I'm absolutely binge to it, is House of Cards. Um, I've been I've been following it on Netflix. It's it's intriguing just to see the whole political American drama as to how the White House functions and things around it. I've I've been binging on it. Like every time that I'm free, I've just put it on. Even before talking to you, I was watching one of the episodes. So that that's the show that I'm on right now. There are a couple of uh, series like Ozark is one of the one of those series that I really got intrigued just watching. It's a silent, dark side to, you know, the methodical way of how things function. So these are, these are, these are two news that I have. House of Cards is in my current watch list. Ozark, I'm a big fan of Ozark. I love Ozark. Can't wait until the next season of Ozark comes out for hope, sure. Hope, hope the next season comes out.